shifting right now, eh? and make it economic and ecologically sensible. Uh, it's quite a large goal. Um, yeah, I know this looks like a toy, but I, I reckon I'm going the right way about it. I'd like it if everyone joined in. And th this scale isn't going to hit it. This is more like a, a camper, a cyclist, eco house. You can use this for communications already with the, the height of the lifting kite and, and the fact you've got power. But th these are designed to get bigger. And with the right sort of weathercocking lifting setup, uh, I'll be able to make this a, a lot better. Now, also, the other way you can make it better is to stick it in the tide and array it uh, upside down across, like, say, an estuary. You'll see that in the video coming up. The amount of energy and the amount of money needed to produce energy is what I'm trying to fix. It's safer and more scalable to do it this way than any other airborne wind energy project I've seen so far, even like ones that Google came up with. So the idea is unique because these kites, they fly a fast, wide, circular path using an inflated uh, ring hub that's kind of a parachute. And there's no... Controls. There's only soft structures and one very lightweight roller blade bearing up at the very top. So it's it's a very safe system. So I use bearings, like I say, right up at the top. That allows lifting the kite. It's a roller. Nice and quiet. A couple of windsurfer wings. Tied. We're not quite a crosswind actually. We're slightly cut. An angle. We're about. Degrees off of it there, but so the left hand edge is prone to a little bit of collapse down. Blade wheel I use up there, so it's simple sealed uh, bearing set pair up there. The bottom I use a uh, mountain bike wheel, and so that uh, has to have a lot more actual thrust applied through it. So I did previously use car bearing sets, but a bit too heavy for what I had. Uh, obviously, bearings are absolutely vital in energy transfer when it's a rotational system like this. Now, as the project changes and grows, I'm going to need better thrust bearings. And that, that's that's all going to change. But stuff like you'd find in ski lifts or, or flying camera equipment. Um, uh, also, I guess bearings are used a lot in the drive shaft for transmitting the torque to I have as well and you know this allows me to apply massive tension to the, the lines and lines are very efficient for energy generation and, and energy transfer. So the most important thing I want you to know about this project is you can join in. It's an open source project and all your feedback is going to help make this a world class product and you can make it at home. Um, and hopefully we can reduce the environmental impact of energy generation. If I win the $5,000 I'll probably spend it on adapting an e-bike hub generator and I'm going to be publishing more data on improvements that I make to these uh, ring generators, the daisy ring generators. Thanks for listening and join in.